Welcome back to Strathray Rockets Hockey on My FM First Period done from the Sarnia Arena 2-2 here in Game 1 here with JEM of the Strathray Rockets Dan Gibson. Uh, first of all, your thoughts on that opening 20? Well, it was uh, kind of a strange period. Uh, back and forth obviously. Uh, decent shots by both teams and uh, not very common I don't think to have a 2-2 score in a, a playoff game after one period. Uh, what I wanted to talk with you about tonight is something that Hockey Canada is trying to instill moving forward. To give us a little bit of history and, and what they're trying to do here. Well, they're, they're trying to eliminate the, the fighting of the game, uh, bring a rule in that uh, if there's fights, you're automatically ejected from the game. And the, the consequence is unknown right now what you would get for a fight. Um, but they're trying to eliminate it from the game, and I just I, I hope they really put a lot of thought into it because more than just taking fighting out has to happen. Um, there's a lot of the rules I think that are going to have to really change or at least be looked at or adjusted to to make it work properly. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm not a fan of sending somebody out there to fight, but there, you know, in my opinion, there there is a spot in the game where sometimes you have to have somebody take care of some things when the rules don't. Um, lean towards taking care of that on their own. Is this something new from Hockey Canada or has this been building for years and now finally they're really putting a push on it? I think it's been building for a while but you know over the the last year and a half two years with all of the concussion syndromes that are happening with uh, the, the suicides in the National Hockey League somewhat being related to it or at least being investigated to be related to it um, with the death of uh, Donald Sanderson in the OHA a couple of years ago uh, all things that are leading towards it um, but you know like I said I, I really hope that uh, they don't just jump to conclusions and make a quick decision on it if they're going to do it that uh, they, they look at it seriously on, on what the other consequences are going to be uh, if they do eliminate it. If this was to happen what levels would it affect? Um, it's not 100% sure yet, but uh, from what I understand, it's going to be anything that's not considered professional, uh, which I guess would be the OHL all the way down through the minor systems. Okay, and do you know um, what status it is at, at the discussion stage right now moving forward? Do you, do you know what status on the on the proposal moving forward? No, we haven't really been given a memo on uh, where they stand with it right now, other than the investigation is underway and that if the investigation goes the way they like, they would like to have it implemented for the, uh, the starting season of 2012-2013. Uh, do you believe that by taking potentially fighting out of the game would increase the the danger amounts of stick infractions stuff stu stuff like that yeah and that's why i'd indicated that you know they have to look at all the rules versus just taking fighting out of the game because to just drop fighting out of the game um it's it's gonna inherently it's gonna cause other issues within the game and, and we've definitely got to look at that to, to make sure that it's the right thing to do if they do do it if uh, i was just to come up to you on the street and have this discussion and say you know what the other, th the other top three professional sports of baseball, football, and basketball don't allow fighting. And if there's fighting, there's suspensions, but fighting isn't really allowed, but it is in hockey. What would you say in defense to the game of hockey? I guess the defense is the reaction time of the game. I mean, the players are traveling at a lot quicker speed. Uh, reactions happen a lot quicker. Um, there's contact in both of the sports, or, or in this sport versus the other two sports. So uh, there can be heated discussions, heated uh, play within the game versus just, you know, bumping and grinding. So it's, it's a high impact game and there's a lot of contact it's versus, you know, just uh, periodic contact. Last question on the topic. As a general manager of a junior level hockey club, if this rule potentially was to go forward, would that affect the way you prospect your your uh, personnel in your lineup? Well, I think so. You, you always go out and you look for somebody that you know can take care of business for you if you have to. But in today's day and game, there's not that many fights. So you can't have a guy that just does that or you're wasting an opportunity for a player on your hockey team. Uh, you have to have somebody that can play the game, can chip in on a third or fourth line whenever you need them on a penalty kill or even a guy in the front of the net on a power play and then have that person be able to be kind of your enforcer as they used to call them in the old days. So, you know, it's, it's not just somebody that's going to sit on your bench and going to get a tap on the shoulder, but you do look for somebody that, uh, you know, if they had to, um, they would be willing to stick up for one of their teammates or at least, uh, you know, go out there and try to assure that the other team isn't going to take liberties. That's a fantastic interview. Thank you very much for coming up and talking to us about this. Appreciate it. Uh, good luck in the uh, second round of the series against Sarnia. Great. Thanks, Chris. GM of the Strathroy Rockets, Dan Gibson. Stay with us coming up after the break. Our period summary on our out-of-town scoreboard. 2-2 after 20 minutes of play. You're listening to Strathroy Rockets Hockey live on MyFM.